On today's docket, we got to do some listings. Rest of these watches, here's the ones that go in bulk. But I want to show you something that I sold. This was from a, a haul, a thrift haul video that I filmed, I don't know, in March probably. Uh, and I wanted to get 300 bucks for it. I did not. I ended up getting uh, about $215, if I can find it. Where I put it? Oh, here it is right here. And it's this giant wool polo, I think. Yeah, polo. Wool jacket. I guess I'll, I'll figure out a way to lay it down so you can see. Look at that. Toggle clasps. Sold to a buyer in New York City. Most of my, like, higher-end or rare vintage stuff goes to New York City or East Coast. Uh, and they bought this, and I'm kind of surprised. I took an offer of $215 because it's summer. And I'd rather have $215 now than $275 in six months. Um, you know, less... Less clutter on my mind, more money to make more money. I think it just adds up. This is the other watch I was kind of curious about. Citizens Eco Drive, Japan Movement. You can see that down there. Uh, those are rhinestones, I'm assuming, not diamonds. And they go into a lot more detail on the back panel. It says water resistant, has uh, a lot of numbers on there. I'm gonna look up all these numbers. I'm gonna open up the back too to make sure that it says whoever is supposed to make these. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up online to figure out who makes the innards for this watch. But if this one is, well, I'll look at it. I'm not gonna tell you until I look it up and I, and I see it's real because it could be maybe not as much as that uh, Casio watch that Mine was in worse condition, but a mint condition sold for 200 bucks. But it still could be a nice find. I'm not a watch expert by any means, but I do think that I'm a resale expert and that I can tell you how to find out basic info. And so I Googled just how to find citizen watch number. And it says you can find the movement number on your watch. It's this, I mean, right there at the very bottom, you can kind of tell it says G620. And so I typed that in G620 uh, and sure enough, there's a model number for it, and there's like a manual online for it, and it's a solar watch. So underneath this black face is solar cells that get charged, and there's no second hand, so I can't tell if it works. Now, this could be an elaborate scheme, but then I go and type in the model number, and I find pretty much the exact same watch right here with rhinestone, quartz, whatever, uh, for $25.19. And that about sounds right. If it was worth hundreds of bucks or thousands of bucks, which, I mean, that probably is pretty crazy to say, uh, I'd be a lot more skeptical of it, of it being real. But I think this is a real watch. Um, all the numbers on back add up. I'm still going to take off the back panel because I'm just curious to see how it looks. But I think that that, I mean, that looks identical to it. This watch... Ticks away while being charged. No, I haven't tested it yet. So I, what I guess I have to do is put this guy, this girl, it's a woman's watch, uh, in direct sunlight for a few hours and see if the, right now it says it's about, what is that, 825, right? We'll see if it, um, if it moves. I'll listen for ticking too. Can you, I'll, I'll be very quiet. No, it's not ticking. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll charge it in the sunlight and see what happens. So a little update. What I'm doing is replacing all the batteries in the watches. There's a few that I just can't open up. I don't know what's going on. I found the best tool is just this little tiny um, flathead screwdriver, and I just pry them up. So this watch, I cannot, I for the life of me, there's probably dust and grime in there that's just like compacted it shut. For this one, I can't find a little notch on the back. I don't want to scratch it up any more than I already have. Uh, and the same for this one right here. I just can't find a place to get it open. So I, I've been looking into other watch opening tools. Uh, here's all the ones that are working. One, two, three, four, now a fifth one. Uh, and then these are the watches right here that I need new batteries for. And I have the battery list right there. I need, um, I, have, I found one of these in my warehouse, so I need a CR1025, a SR616 SW, and a SR521 SW. I need two of those. So that's what I'm doing so far. 
it was slow, slow going at first, but now, now that I have a system, uh, I'm going through a, like a watch in like five minutes. Uh, and I think most of these are going to sell for between nine and 20 bucks. Um, the eco one, I think that's real. And then there's a Skagen watch that needs a new battery. It has like a mesh band. It's pretty cool looking. This one right here is in the bag still. This one is probably worth about 50 bucks. Um, assuming that it works, I have to buy a battery for it. So pretty cool to see how these look on the inside and just like learn about it all. This is another fake Gucci watch. I don't know how I didn't see it the first time. Probably because it looks even cheaper than the last one. Same thing, except this one says made in China <laughs> on the interior of the, um, of the watch housing. And then it, uh, I can't tell if it's the same movement or not. Yeah, it looks like it is PC215S Singapore. So, uh, is this the other watch? Yeah, they, both of these watches, these two fake Gucci watches, have the same interior mechanism. Kind of interesting, both fake. Um, you know, obviously if you, <laughs> a Gucci watch that looks kind of cheap probably is pretty cheap. Luxury brands cost what they do because they've got a lot of detail work into them. And these obviously don't. So I'll give this one away too on Patreon. Uh, on Friday, I'll draw a winner. And if nobody wants them, then I don't know, I'll give them as gifts and I'll say they're real. <laughs> Here's another watch I got working. My thumb, <laughs> cut my thumb, but I fixed this watch. It, well, I mean, I put a battery in and I didn't really fix it. It's a St. Moritz Altimeter VS1. And it looks like in used condition, sells for 70 bucks plus shipping. So. I mean, 50 bucks for all these watches, if you forgot. And uh, I'd say we're probably gonna make like 250 bucks over the course of the next, I don't know how fast these watches sell, but the, I would say over the next three months. That's just my guess. I'm sure this will be like a recurring theme. I'll keep you guys updated because I like, I don't really wear watches, but they're fun to work with. Here's the final watch that I took apart and I'm curious your thoughts on it. So it's a Armani watch, Emporio Armani says GA on top. The back of it says Emporio Armani AR2429. And that's the way they model their watches. I don't think I was able to find this exact same one. I guess I'll, I'll do a little look on, uh, on the old Google to find out first. Um, oh, actually there it is right there. So it looks like there is a similar watch from Joma shop. Never heard of that. But what I found interesting, this watch, so I, it's got a lot of little details that I look for. Uh, like the band has, uh, has the name stamped on it. Um, and then when I pulled out my jeweler's loop to look at it, let me see if I can even just show you that right here. I think I can. Okay. There it says, Swiss parts, Thailand made, Rhonda One Jewel. And it looks a lot nicer than most of the like, cheap fake watches. This watch probably goes for, if I had to guess, 30 or 40 bucks on eBay. It looks like that's kind of the range we're seeing it. So it's not like a super high end watch. It's pretty close to it, maybe even $25. Um, but it definitely like looks like the kind of thing that would be faked. So I don't have a battery for it yet. I gotta buy some more. Uh, but what do you think? Is this watch real or do you think it's fake? I think it's real personally, but um, if somebody has reason to believe it's fake, then I would probably listen to their reasons.